You need to understand this. Most crypto networks will not be successful. There are tons of projects and altcoins on the market right now and you're always hearing about new coins popping up. But here's the truth. Only a fraction of these projects will survive long term and these survivors will end up becoming massive in the future. But which ones will make it that far? Nothing is for certain in crypto but I can tell you some key factors that give a project a good chance of making it big. Big partnerships, real world adoption and use cases and several several major sectors. One project that hits all of these points is Hedera. Now I've talked about this project and the HBAR coin several times on my channel but there's a lot going on right now with Hedera that I think everyone should be aware of. And if you weren't already bullish on this ecosystem or you thought HBAR already went through a bull run, it's old news, this might change your mind. For those of you that are new to the channel, my name is Summer and this is Fire Hustle. Before we get started, don't forget to like, subscribe and most importantly hit that shiny bell notification button. It really helps the channel more than you think and I'd really appreciate it. And if you want access to this information before everyone else, join my free discord and newsletter which are linked in the description below. Okay, let's begin with the HBAR price chart. So there's been a lot of action for HBAR over the last year. At the start of 2023, HBAR was in the same price range as it is right now but since then it's gone through this climb to almost 10 cents a major pullback to 4 cents then a series of climbs and falls until the october rally that pushed the price back up to 10 cents this peak was hit on the 2nd of january and then after this we saw a downward trend throughout the last month it ended up dipping into the 6 cent range a few days ago but it looks like there's a bit of a climb going on in the day now it's important to remember that hedera has already gone through a bull cycle and their coin was able to reach a much higher price range. The record high was set at almost 60 cents back in September of 2021. So even with these climbs we've been seeing in the past year, this is still very far away from where the price used to be. Now when looking for altcoins that will make the biggest moves in the bull cycle, investors typically turn to assets with low market caps. And this is because there's still a lot of room to grow for these coins compared to larger cap coins. HBAR already has a market cap of about 2.5 billion dollars, so you might be wondering, why are you you even talking about a large cap coin especially if it already had its big run in the last bull cycle well the reason is simple the hedera ecosystem has evolved so much over the years and they're positioning themselves for what could be an even greater move up in the coming bull run and i'll tell you why i believe this now when you think about some of the sectors that are expected to be massive in the coming years what comes to mind well i hope rwa tokenization is one of them rwa stands for real world assets and this sector is about turning assets in the real world into digital tokens. The advantage of this is being able to easily manage ownership of real assets on chain and also the ability to fractionalize an asset so that ownership can be divided into multiple parts, each one represented by a token. Now the RWA tokenization sector is expected to become a multi-trillion dollar industry over the next decade so this is no joke and Hedera has been making moves to become a big player in the sector. Last year a major real estate firm called Red Swan CRE managing assets worth $5 billion chose Hedera for its new token studio. This move allows people to create and invest in digital versions of real estate properties and it opens doors for smaller investors to access investments that were previously too expensive for them. And when more people realize the opportunities that come with tokenized assets, this may become a more popular choice over traditional real estate investing. Hedera's tokenization services attract another company called Fresh Supply Co, an Australian-based digital solutions platform for agriculture and supply chains. Fresh Supply Co is actually the largest user of MasterCard Provenance, a blockchain-based business payment solution offered by MasterCard. However, they decided to transition over to Hedera's network for their tokenization needs. Now, this move also integrates Hedera into the Fresh Supply Co's own API tool connected to MasterCard. So this creates a link between the Hedera network and the MasterCard network, as well as upcoming MasterCard-based Web3 products. And to really drive the point home, Home, here's a third example of RWA tokenization on Hedera. One of the governing council members, Aberdeen, is a company that manages over $600 billion in investment funds. And they've decided to tokenize their billion dollar market fund on Hedera in partnership with the digital assets platform called Artjax. This really highlights Hedera's growing influence in the financial sector. Now it's clear that they've been making some big moves in the RWA tokenization space, but the truth is Hedera's ecosystem is targeting more than just one up 
upcoming narrative and we can add DPIN to the list. DPIN stands for Decentralized Physical Infrastructure Network and focuses on addressing real world challenges by offering incentives, typically in the form of cryptocurrency for participation in its ecosystem. This concept is widely used amongst Wi-Fi networks, energy services, and storage solutions. A well-known example is Helium, which rewards users for contributing to a decentralized Wi-Fi network by providing them with Helium tokens in exchange for deploying hardware. This approach encourages active participation and growth within the project's ecosystem. More recently, you might have heard about Hedera's partnership with QuickPick, which is a DPIN project. QuickPick operates as a delivery as a service network connecting local drivers with users for package delivery. The platform has completed over 4,500 deliveries, leveraging the Hedera network and Google Maps to log all driver journeys as immutable records. This helps protect against fraud and theft and also tracks carbon emissions for environmental sustainability. The QuickPick app also uses the Hedera token service for its transactions, ensuring cost efficiency and real-time settlement. I'm pretty bullish on the deep end sector myself and it's shaping up to be a massive industry in the near future, so seeing the Hedera ecosystem system dipping its toes into DPIN is really exciting. But that's not all, we recently saw a run up in the price chart of HBAR Suite, a project taking part in another huge narrative, that being DeFi. If you're not familiar with HBAR Suite, I'll talk about what it is, but let's just admire this chart for a second. It's up over 400% in the month and reached its all time high not too long ago. But what is HBAR Suite and why is it up right now? Well, HBAR Suite is a platform on the Hedera network that introduces smart node technology to build innovative DeFi applications and private networks for enterprise solutions. These smart nodes are a technology that could replace smart contracts that we typically see in DeFi projects. When compared to normal smart contracts, these smart nodes are highly customizable, are cost effective, have no memory limit, and offer greater interoperability and scalability. And you can see a comparison in this chart right here. And they have a ton of DeFi services and features that they offer. Now I can't cover everything in this video, so definitely check out their website and white paper for more info. Now, one question we need to ask is how come the price is up? Well, HBAR Suite recently introduced the H Suite Foundation. The purpose of this foundation is to incentivize the creation of smart applications through their node technology. This year, the foundation wants to host hackathons and work towards more collaborations and innovation. Now, a successful crypto network is incomplete without a list of partners and collaborations, and Hedera is known for its strong partnership network. This includes the Governing Council, which includes big names like Google, Dell, IBM, and Chainlink. These members are all believers in the Hedera ecosystem, and they help oversee the network nodes and contribute to network stability. Last year, Hedera collaborated with Flutterwave to enable Swift USDC payments from the US and Canada to Africa. A Hedera-based micropayment platform called drop also became the first crypto business to partner with FedNow, the US Federal Reserve's instant payment system. This collaboration allows banks to leverage Hedera's network for instant and cost-effective transactions. There were also partnerships with Hyundai and Kia to help them launch a carbon emissions monitoring system. The goal is to efficiently track carbon emissions at every stage of the supply chain from raw materials through production to transportation. And all of this is being done using Hedera's powerful network services for efficiency and transparency. Now, just this week, the Hedera team formed a partnership with a digital collectibles platform called Reality Plus. This collaboration is focused on leveraging Hedera's technology for digital collectible solutions in Web3 projects, catering to global brand clients like BBC Studios and FIFA. So it's clear that the Hedera team has been focused on growing the ecosystem through partnerships, which will only increase the number of use cases for the technology. Now, alongside their accomplishments, it's also important to understand how a project works. So here's a brief overview to highlight some key factors of this network. Hedera operates as an open source distributed ledger facilitating secure and efficient transactions through its native Hashgraph technology, a DAG based system. The network relies on nodes using the Gossip protocol to validate transactions before adding them to the ledger. What exactly does this mean? Well, people and computers can communicate through messages and transactions over the internet, engaging in activities like money transfers. And instead of relying on a central authority, 
study, it uses a gossip and voting mechanism where participants share information with each other and collectively vote on the validity and order of messages and transactions. The entire process is fast, secure, and resistant to manipulation. These decisions are then recorded on a public ledger. Now, I mentioned that Hedera is overseen by the Governing Council, which is a decentralized group of organizations from diverse industries and regions. Council members come from various sectors, including finance, technology, and communications, making it representative of different industries. So, companies like Google, Boeing, IBM, LG, and Ubisoft. The Council supervises network nodes, makes significant decisions, and maintains fairness by implementing term limits. Thanks to the Hashgraph technology, Hedera has a processing speed, or TPS, of up to 10,000 transactions per second, and it's known for its remarkably low transaction cost at about one hundredth of a cent. Not to mention, the Hedera network operates efficiently, consuming significantly less energy than most other leading networks, as proven by a study done by the University College in London. Now, I've been following Hedera for a while now, and I remember constantly hearing about Hashgraph technology in the early days, but now seeing the entire ecosystem come to life with a variety of innovative projects is amazing. Hedera is constantly trending on socials and the fact is that they keep growing and surprising us with major updates. And with the bull run approaching, we're only getting started here. And that's all folks, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Remember, the crypto space comes with high risk and none of this is financial advice. I highly recommend that you do your own research before deciding to invest. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. See you in the next one.